Hello. So I feel myself really on the on the edge without the notes. <laughs> so let's fly. <laughs> Okay, so uh, my name is Don Atas. Uh, I'm from National Library of Lithuania, and I'm a creator and the manager of two maker spaces uh, based in the National Library. So one of the maker spaces is designed for the school pupils, and uh, right now we already uh, have, I think, had uh, 11,000 visitors during the three years. And uh, another one, the second one, maker space, it's a media maker space, uh, just opened. Uh, not yet publicly, but uh, uh, so these are going to be two maker spaces that I will talk about. Uh, but as we all love to say in Lithuania, it's better to see it once than uh, hear it uh, ten times. So I prepared some short movies about each uh, maker space, and uh, please welcome to uh, see them. Okay, there's this one. Sveiki atvykiai dirbtuvės pas savo. Čia nėra steniai kursų nei pamokų, nei atsiskaitymų, bet rasite vietą, kurioje galite išsikelti savo tikslą. Ar tai bus kūrybinis ar technologinis projektas, o galbūt tiesiog noras kažką pažinti, spręsti jums. Ką galite tikėtis gauti dirbtuvės? Reikalingas medžiagas, įrankius ir priemonės jūsų tikslui pasiekti. Pagalba ir patarimus iš dirbtuvių darbuotojų. Kaip mes dirbame? Kaip kavinė. Kaip sukote netvyčiai radote tų šią spavą, Galite drąsiai prisėsti ir tik į darbą. Norite tikrai gauti stalo norimų metu? Rezervuokite į telefonu arba elektroniniu paštu. Duris atidarome kiekvienos dienos vidurdienį ir užverėme jas pasibaigus bibliotekos darbo laiką. Taigi, paprostomis dienomis užsidarome 21 valandą o savaitgaliais 18. Norite užsukti pas mus ir padirbėti? Tada turite žinoti kelias pagrindinės taisyklės. Dirbtuvėse itin svarbi tvarka, kad gavę švarų stalą į tokį mums turėsite ir gražinį. Panaudotus įrankius ir nepanaudotas medžiagas išdėlioti jiems skirtas vietas. Iš medžiagų esantį čia, čia ir čia, sukurti kūriniai galės būti rasiai išsinešti namo. Svarbiausia būti saugiems, kad nemokantis naudotis įrankiais turi prisipažinti ir iškart bus pamokę, o staklėmis reikės dirbti dėvint apsaugos priemonės. Dėl tos pačios priežasties su mane dirbtuvėse dūkti bus stučto jau išprašyti. Dirbtuvėse nėra daiktų, kurios būtų galima tiesiog išsinešti, bet koks daiktas turės likti dirbtuvėse, nebent jis bus pataisytas, patobulintas, pagražintas ir kitaip pakeistas. Dirbtuvėse mes tausojame medžiagas, kad bumbėsime, jei jos bus naudojamos nepratymus. Pauzdinti, pjauti, gradiruoti, naudojant mūsų įrangą, galima bus tik tai, ką sukursite patys, o ne atsisiūsite iš interneto. Taip matai, taisyklių tikrai nėra daug, o galimybės tikrai plačios. Tad plaukiame tavęs ateinančio vieno ar vienos su draugais ir su tau patinkančiu suaugusiu. Dirtuvės pats savo yra atviros dirtuvės. Atviros jūsų savo norystėj, partnerystėms, idėjams, patarimams, bei tiesiog namuose užsigrėjusios medžiagoms ar tinginiaujantiems be darbo jūsų. Nors tai ir neįprasta šiem laikam, bet taip, visa tai yra nemokama, kaip ir daugelis kitų nacionalinės bibliotekos paslaugų. Tad kviečiame užsukti į biblioteką ir be bejonės į dirbtuvės. So that's the first one, and the second one. Kai tik atidarėme dirbtuvės pats savo skirtas moksleiviams, ne vienas suaugęs už jėjas klausdavo, o tai kada, ką nors panašaus atsidarysite ir mums, suaugusiems. Tai ilgai galvojame, kol galiausiai mums pasitaikė tokia galimybė, tai atsiradusiose Nacionalinės bibliotekos rūsio patalpose, 
įkurti medijų dirbtuvės. Medijų dirbtuvės sudaro šešios erdvės, kurios suskirstytos pagal tematiką. Tai pavyzdžiui, analoginė fotografija, skaitmeninių vaizdų ir nuotraukų apdarojimas, vaizdo įrašai, garso įrašai, programavimas ir 3D modeliavimas bei virtuali realybė. Dirbtuvėse vartotojas ras ne tik tai naujausia technologija, tokia kaip 3D spausintuvai ar virtuali realybė, bet taipogi galės ir peržiūrėti, bet taip pabandyti susiskaitmenizuoti savo senuosius įrašus VHS formatu, muzikos juostu ar, tarkime, netgi peržiūrėti 8 mm, 16 mm kiną. Viskas šiandien vyksta savarankiškų būdų, tai reiškia, žmogus atėjęs savarankiškai dirba, bet gali sulaukti bibliotekininko pagalbos. Tai kaip tą pagalbą išsikviesti, esant klausimams, patraukia virvelę, darbuotojas gauna pranešimą, kad jis turi ateiti šiandien ir padėti išspręsti jūsų problemą. So these are maker spaces that we run and uh, oh sorry. So first of all, uh, our steps toward, toward this sort of sustainability, how we cope with that. So uh, first of all, uh, both maker spaces were designed to be uh, actually uh, managed by the one person. So one person in a chat, the pupils uh, maker space and, and another one in a media maker space. But uh, the model for the media maker space is even better because the guy or girl can come uh, upstairs to, to help in the children's maker, sp uh, maker space when it's no need for help in a media maker space. Uh, how we uh, manage to reduce our cost? We actually accept a lot of materials already used before donated by the uh, com by companies or some leftovers from the households and needed uh, tools, equipment and so on. So uh, it's uh, around 80% uh, of our materials all in all. So we just buy some uh, some plastic for the 3D printers and so on, as, as you can imagine. We accept uh, all tools, we try to fix them, and we prepare them for the new life in our maker space. It also re reduces the costs. Uh, we uh, definitely we uh, implement uh, the projects, uh, finance, usually financed by the local, local municipality or Ministry of Cultures. That's the possibility to get more money for the equ equipment and uh, for materials. We are uh, actually not very loved by the homeless people in our town because in library uh, we are collecting deposit bottles. And uh, that's the uh, opportunity for us to buy at least one kilo of very liquid material, hot glue gun sticks, one per month. But uh, we base those special containers around the library, and uh, even uh, uh, staff knows that uh, they can put uh, their uh, needed bottles over there. Uh, of course, we have a uh, donation box. Uh, it's more not. It's not about uh, uh, some financial support. It's uh, mostly about uh, emotional. By putting a little money in a box, they say that you have to keep going and do uh, nice things. Some people are putting not little money to support us. Uh, when we started to think about implementing those services in the National Library, we, uh, uh, we tried to make them uh uh, to uh, make them that they will require as less as possible uh, infrastructural intervention. So, it, uh, as you can imagine, that equals money. And it's, uh, those services uh, should be uh, like uh, very uh, universal and, and diverse at the same time. So, for example, in uh, uh, the room of the maker space uh, for school pupils, it can be uh, used for other purposes when not used for the maker space. So, you can see the were, were some theatrical plays, uh, there were uh, even press conferences, and it's always used for the uh, other uh, educational events uh, in the library. Uh, in a media maker space, uh, everything was uh, built uh, thinking about to reduce the cost uh, of the service it's, uh, if it's going to fail. 
So uh, everything can be changed very fastly and you can start to do uh, other services in the same place. So uh, the shelves are not screwed to the walls, tables are free to, uh, to move around, you can even take it out. Even the uh, electrical cables or communication cables are laid in the, those metallic gutters. Uh, fixed to the ceiling, so it's easy to change it also. Uh, it's, it's not wise actually to duplicate the, uh, the equipment in the both maker spaces. So we invite, the, we will invite adults from the maker space and media maker space to come to the children's space to use the uh, equipment over there, and at the same moment to show children that uh, it's pos what's possible more to do to do with uh, these things, these the, this equipment. And it's I think it's a win-win situation. And we are, we are moving towards uh, the joining both maker space together. Uh, popularity, how gain it? So probably the main thing is uh, to be accessible as possible, uh, to do things very clearly and simply. Uh, for example, right now we are one and, a half, one and a half person team. So just in HR perspective, not in, not in reality. <laughs> so, yeah, but uh, we are uh, able to cover seven days per week. We uh, open our doors uh, at midday and we close the doors uh, when, uh, at the end of the working hours of the end of the working hours of the library. So, as you heard already, 9 p.m. on workdays, 6 p.m. on week weekends. Uh, also, we are trying to keep uh, everything as simple as possible. So uh, you already heard uh, in a movie almost five rules, main rules. So you can come and do something to join us in our children's maker space. Uh, also, we use our pre-prepared uh, pre um, video materials to introduce them uh, to what uh, equipment we have, what they can, what they cannot to do in our maker spaces. The same uh, ideas will be applied on, uh, in the maker space, uh, media maker space. Uh, here, uh, we even uh, made some stickers, square stickers, and those stickers will lead you to the uh, video materials, how to operate the device, and uh, what can be done more with that. So we already prepared 15 movies, short movies about the equipment, and uh, seven, 17 uh, big uh, broadcastings uh, about the possibilities. So uh, why it's self-service? You can come, scan, learn how to do it, and uh, try it. Uh, uh, universality. So we are trying to offer as much as possible uh, services at the same at the, at the same place. So, for example, here in the media in a children's maker space, you will find all kind of the tools, tools for building tools for uh, learning, uh, stereotypically assigned it to the girls and to the boys, uh, new tools, old tools, uh, tools very f fashion ones, but uh, you can find everything there for every needs. Uh, in the um, media maker space, uh, the idea is the same, but uh, here, for example, in the video uh, room, you can try to watch your old movies on 16 millimeters tape, you can uh, the digitize your VHS cassettes, you can try to uh, take a footage on 8 millimeter camera, you can uh, uh, do something, uh, or do a little uh, cinema theater out of the room or even uh, uh, mini studio, so joint services. Uh, as you could predict, actually, the main goal of the maker space, children's maker space, is not provide, uh, just only provide services. It's uh, our biggest wish is to provide services to those who lack them the most. So why we are so keen to work with the uh, groups from the um, daycare centers, from child uh, care homes, or even some uh, social projects. Mm, we do have all the technologies that are used uh, around the town in uh, paid courses for children, just to allow uh, families to come and to explore, to, to learn something by themselves. And uh, the topic ones. And uh, so that we are minimizing the gap between the low income families and opportunity to learn something and to use new technologies. Uh, we, by working uh, late evenings and uh, on uh, weekends, we provide the opportunity to uh, families to gather together 
and to do something uh, like a team because there is no more, no much of uh, service like that in the town, just entertaining more than uh, something uh, collaborative work. Uh, what we um, actually see right now also, so there is a gap between the uh, formal and informal education. There was a habit for the teachers to bring their class and just leave them to do something. So one moment we realized that, uh, why, wait a moment, we are working like uh, clowns in the circus. We are just entertaining them, but there is no connection between what they have to learn and what is the curriculum. So right now we only invite those uh, classes uh, uh, with a pre-discussed topic and uh, what corresponds to their uh, curriculum. Uh, we offer... Uh, little children, children, youth, uh, the space where they can uh, actually grow their social skills, where they can uh, um, build friendship uh, to join the collaborative work. That's, I think, the only, uh, no, it's a really uh, important task. For the um, media maker space, we, uh, we will try to do uh, something uh, with <laughs> our society also, but it's, it's going to be related to the uh, much, uh, online content and uh, proper usage and uh, licensing. How we will manage to do that, I don't know, but we will <laughs> in some scale. <laughs> Yeah, uh, and the f uh, fourth uh, actually pillar of our services that uh, I can't actually imagine the, uh, from uh, without it. So, and uh, environmentally friendly we are, and as I told you, those. Uh, uh, materials are already used before. It's a really good thing because uh, the uh, people uh, who are bringing those uh, materials to us, they are feeling more into library. The connection is uh, tidier. Uh, we do. Uh, we use. Uh, we don't use actually paper towels. We use uh, fabric ones, but probably we will not <laughs> because of the coronavirus and so on. So probably we will do it later. Uh, we always talk with the children about uh, those uh, uh, the need of uh, turning off uh, unnecessary equipment. About we are also collecting those deposit bottles and do not letting them to end up in the landfills. That is also a good uh, environmentally friendly move. We always, uh, uh, when we prepare the uh, workshop for the classes, we always try to use as much as possible donated materials. So not only individuals uh, learn, who uh, our visitors learn that it's possible to do something uh, out of the materials donated or unnecessary anymore and uh, uh, reduce the waste. Uh, we love to do uh, things on the budget and by ourselves. So uh, this box, it, it was a um, container, let's say, for the copy machine. We bought some materials and it's going to be an audio boot. So please come and see. I think that's a ni nice project will be. So, but just, it's only one example, but yeah, it's plenty of such examples. We're trying to reduce our cost even in a such a waste. Wait, uh, we allow uh, children to bring home what they <laughs> fixed at our makerspace. So, uh, we are reducing the necessity to buy something, but uh, the joy is bigger than uh, the bought, the new bought thing, actually. Uh, when we started to think about media makerspace, uh, our, we were really keen to use as much as possible already used uh, equipment. So some of them were uh, took from uh, di uh, director general cabinet and so on. But we have a, uh, we have a partner, and the partner is a recycling company. It collects uh, the necessary equipment from the households and uh, have to uh, recycle, but uh, we are offering the better solution. So usually we come there, we bring uh, a lot of stuff uh, back home in the media maker space, and we are trying to fix it to prepare for the new life. Uh, and 
As an example, this one, uh, that's the eight, uh, 16 millimeter, millimeter video film projector, not a video, a film project, projector. And um, it was actually produced in the Soviet Union in 1981. And uh, it was covered in the fabric uh, packaging. Uh, but uh, the lubricants were so hardened that it uh, sh should be uh, broken down completely, uh, uh, removed uh, the lubricants and lubricated from new. So right now we have a brand new, uh, I don't know, no, 39 years old uh, projector for, for use. And it's, it's, I think it's going to be a good, uh, good thing to, to offer. So that's all about our way to, to how to manage uh, our maker spaces. Uh, I think we uh, gain a lot of, from this uh, point of view. It's challenging some time. Uh, it could be more challenging uh, challenges in the future, but uh, that's the life and uh, that's the joy of having a maker space in a library. So thank you so much. It was a pleasure to be here and to talk with you. Bye.